Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the KitchenAid Pasta Attachment. If you want to try out this attachment, I've put a link right below this video. There are three included attachments, and they're all to be used with a KitchenAid stand mixer. These attachments will work with any KitchenAid stand mixer for household use. There's a pasta roll attachment, which is what you use first, and it'll roll the pasta into six inch sheets. You can select the thinness of your pasta with eight settings, one being the thickest and eight being the thinnest. After you get the sheets of pasta, use either cutter to cut the sheets into fettuccine noodles or spaghetti noodles. A wooden cleaning brush is included. These attachments are made in Italy, they're stainless steel, and they should never be washed. To clean, wait one hour after you finish making the dough and brush off any dried pasta from the attachments. You can use a toothpick to clean out any dry pasta if it's stuck, but no metal utensils. An instruction manual is also included. There's a speed settings chart and a roller settings chart to help you use the attachments. For example, use speed 5 with the fettuccine cutter. Roller setting 4 or 5 to make lasagna noodles, fettuccine, spaghetti, and ravioli. This is my KitchenAid 5 quart artisan mixer. Unscrew this knob. And remove the hub cover. Insert the attachment. Go straight in. Screw the knob back in. To adjust thickness, pull this knob out and turn to whatever setting you'd like. Start with one and slowly go up. We'll run the dough through three times, folding it in between. After three times, we'll run the dough through a couple more times without folding and change the setting to two, three, four, and five. After that, we'll change the attachment to fettuccine or spaghetti and cut the noodles. Have a tray ready with some flour and some extra flour on the side. When you roll the dough, if it's too sticky, you can put some flour in the attachment and on the dough. And after you roll the sheet out, put it on the flour tray. After cutting the sheets into fettuccine or spaghetti, dust it with flour and put it on the tray. You can cook the pasta right away or dry it and cook it later. You can purchase drying racks if you plan on drying your pasta and cooking it later. My dough has rested for about half hour. I'll cut a piece off. Just form it into a rectangle by just pressing with your hands. Just like that. I'll put a little flour on the dough. And now we can roll it. The thickness has been set to one. Use speed two on your mixer. Hold it. Hold it again. And if it's getting too wide, you can cut it. I'm going to use a little bit more flour. Change the thickness too. Change the thickness three. Now 
and a four. You can always cut it in between if it's too long. It's pretty thin. If you want to keep going to setting five, you can do that. I'm going to cut the sheet in half because it is very long. Leave the other half on the flour tray. Do the other half. Now I'll use the spaghetti attachment. Unscrew. Put the spaghetti attachment in. Screw it. Lock the head. And your beautiful spaghetti noodles. Dust a little bit of flour on it. Mix it right there. I'll take the spaghetti out. Put the roller back in. Roll out another piece of dough. That was a bubble. Change to speed two. Three. Four. The attachment doesn't come out easily, just twist it back and forth and it'll come out. Put the fettuccine attachment in, screw it on. I'm going to cut my sheet in half. So how fast that was and it looks really good. Dust it with a little flour. The attachment looks very clean. Nothing is stuck in here, which is good. You can see through it. That's great. That means no cleaning. Basically, if you're new at this and your dough is a little sticky, it might get stuck. To save yourself from a lot of cleaning and scraping dough from here, make sure you dust your dough with flour before rolling and cutting. My dough was soft, it was not sticky, and as you see, went through perfectly and cleanly. So the amount of cleanup will depend on how good your dough is. To clean, all I have to do is just wipe off the flour with a towel and brush off any flour inside here. There's no dough, there's no dried pieces.
You can also tap the attachment in case you have any bits stuck in here. So I have spaghetti and fettuccine ready to cook or dry. By cutting the rolled sheets of pasta, you can control the length of your spaghetti or fettuccine. Make sure you dust the pasta with enough flour or they'll stick together. If you want to make your pasta right away, put a pot of water to boil before you start making the pasta. By the time you roll and cut your pasta, the water will be at a full boil. Some salt in and the pasta. Do stir often to make sure they don't stick to each other. They'll be done really quickly. Fresh pasta is done in two, three, four minutes depending on the thickness. If you don't plan to cook the pasta right away, as soon as you cut the pasta, put them on drying racks. When you're making pasta, after the pasta is cooked, you can drain it in a colander or just take it out of the water and put it straight into a pan of whatever sauce you're serving with the pasta. Fresh pasta really tastes good with a little bit of olive oil, salt, fresh ground black pepper, and some freshly grated Parmesan. Grate a little bit, mix it, Grate a little bit more. See the pasta's cooked perfectly. They're all separate. Very simple, really good and tasty. So you saw how the pasta attachment works. It's very easy to use, makes pasta quickly, nothing got stuck and cleanup is easy. Again, the cleanup depends on your dough. If you want to buy this KitchenAid pasta attachment, I've put a link right below this video. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.